Hello and welcome to Calagra Market, our daily program on FT, Bank FT, USD, INR, etc, etc, etc. You know what this thing is about. We've been doing this for a while. In fact, I think we've been doing it for almost a couple of years now. It seems like yesterday when we first started it. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's jump right into the action. A lot of drama happened, I think, over it. I think US data got released and Nifty went to some 16800. Now it is going to some uh, 17. 100 so right 300 point intraday swing people in singapore having all the fun people in us having all the fun but i think largely nifty has uh, gone to 17100 that's what it i mean two hours back it looked like the world is ending tomorrow now it looks like the world is continuing business as usual but anyway let's not be influenced by sgx and all right we are not into this kind of stuff we are into uh, trading with the information that we have available at 3.30 with a little bit of cheating which is FII, DI data and then we will uh, figure out what market do, market does, right? So anyway, let's look at Nifty. So where did we end our analysis yesterday? We said that after the event, there could be a dip, the risk reward here is long. If 17,000 holds, then bullish strategies for the coming week is the thing to do. That is where we ended. So we said bully, bull call spreads, naked buy call, even long futures with a tight SL is what I would do, right? Uh, is where we ended. Now, now, I think if we started this analysis somewhere around 7 p.m., I would have been rogered for this because <laughs> SGX Nifty looked like tomorrow Nifty will open at 68. But anyway, it does not, I don't think that is the case. So really, right, nothing has changed since yesterday. Because if you look at Nifty, uh, in fact, day before yesterday's analysis also went right because 17100 calls, uh, there was so much FII selling that I think they managed the index, double quote, managed the index to make sure that 1700 pl 100 plus calls uh, made money. So 17100 plus calls made money, 17000 put selling made money, largely everything made money because Nifty was in that 16800, 17000, that tight zone, right? So, so now yesterday we said key next week can be bear it bullish and that's where our case starts right so now let's look at nifty daily candle here nothing has changed right because we have some kind of a small candle forming at 200 dma plus this gap ka base so this is a strong base till this base is broken i'm not going to buy into bearishness anything between 16800 and 17000 with reasonable volumes and supporting price action i will consider it an entry point to accumulate some stock, uh, some some index or some calls or some sell puts, whichever it is, right? Uh, now let's also look at Nifty's <coughs> weekly candle <coughs> below the 50 DMA, but frankly, 50 DMA is just what 17,100. So if it closes above 17,100 tomorrow, then Nifty is going to go up again, right? It's fairly uh, straightforward stuff because there are two good rejections happening on a weekly time frame here. This is that bullish hammer this is a doji and the third one if tomorrow it closes above 17100 we'll have a weekly close above 50 weekly moving average with the rejection from the bottom so everything points towards bullishness now let's look at bank nifty <coughs> bank nifty doesn't look as great it took rejection from the 50 dma but this zone right if you look at bank nifty above 38500 there is some kind of a consolidation going on in fact i would say that this is one so sorry wrong wrong indicator yeah. where is the horizontal line yeah uh, yeah yeah somewhere around here there is some sort of consolidation happening this is of course a big bullish uh, candle so 38,000 to 38,500 zone there is something happening here and uh, 38,500 of course uh, is uh, acting like a support for the last few days uh, this is not as strong a level as Nifty, which I think 16,000 is a very strong level in Nifty. But this 38,000, 38,500 is like, okay, this seems to be working, so let's just stick with it, right? Uh, so let's also look at the weekly candle of Bank Nifty. Uh, interesting. Bullish engulfing, kind of a bullish engulfing formation here. So tomorrow, if it closes above 38,600 or somewhere near 38,700 levels this will become like a doji candle and bank nifty will go back into the bullish territory now let's look at open interest charts right open interest chart today early to say anything but 17,000 pay there's a lot of call by selling and put selling 
and net net 17,000 has become like the place to watch right which we know because we have been talking about 17,000 becoming a zone of consolidation PCR is 0 0.8 which is uh, neutral to bullish um, now let's finally look at the last piece of the puzzle FIDA data <coughs> this is very tricky because uh, FIA have been flip flopping for the last few days uh, but here's the takeaway right today they sold 15k calls bought 10k puts bearish stocks they sold 1500 crores kind of bearish uh, actually bearish index futures 500 crores mildly bearish uh, but net net <coughs> it looks like FIA is selling so there is some conflict here because if FIA was buying I would be very happy with the analysis of uh, uh, bullishness right uh, oh Wayne is here hi Wayne uh, Wayne saved me from something massive today but anyway, so, uh, so FII, DII data is negative. Chart look more positive than negative. Uh, option chain, 17,000 is a huge support. PCR neutral, kind of mixed signal. But see, the thing is this, right? If you ask me what should I do, 16,800 to 17,000 is a support. If you get it close to 16,800, it's not a bad idea to take a punt on it and try to go long, right? Um, if 16,800 breaks, yes, of course you should be short. But as long as it is above 16,800 and consolidating in that 16,800 to 17,000 zone, I'll bias myself towards bullishness. So I'll buy on dips and my instrument to express my view would be bull call spreads, bull put spread or even maybe I'll try to play futures with tight SL. Because if that 17,000 zone holds and it just breaks above, right? Then next week we can have a really really big movement coming and let's face it right here if nifty ko tootna hi hota to ab tak toot gaya hota there is some other story unfolding here which i don't know what it is despite all the negativity in the world us inflation india's weak story europe ka bad story russian story everything despite everything market is doing something so maybe Maybe it's not over and let's not call it over till it's over and between in this zone of 16,000 to 17,000 I would stay long. Shivam is saying huge volatility in the global market. Yeah, volatility is always there. What is it? So as Chandrakant is saying, yes sideways overall gaps giving major indication. <coughs> Prashant is saying cap down. What do you predict from your predict? In fact, I'd say if it is gap down between 16, uh, below 17,000 it might be a nice opportunity. Mm. to sell some puts sorry so if it gaps down below 17,000 tomorrow and there is some sort of stability coming there it might not be a bad idea to sell puts tomorrow or sell put spreads tomorrow uh, because ultimately this zone is showing strong buying look at these two rejection weeks right so I want to <clears throat> again bring your attention to this Nifty has not been able to successfully close below 16800 even on a single week, week on week basis. Even if you look at daily candles, Nifty has not really closed below this 17,000 line even once because every time it goes below, ever since this bullish engulfing has formed, it has <coughs> gapped and consolidated above. So if you are scared of a breakdown, then what you can do is you can do a call spread or a put spread or something. <coughs> but if you're feeling lucky here, if you think, if you have other reasons to believe my bullish story other than these factors, right? Then it's a good idea to <coughs> be long call spreads or <coughs> long bull call spreads or uh, do uh, bull put spreads here for a move above, right? Uh, finally, going to USDNR again here. USDNR is now again seems like it's stabilizing, <coughs> but again, this is an inverted uh, hammer, so maybe i mean yeah you shouldn't trade this thing like okay ideally it's a bad thing to trade now given the kind of volatility we are witnessing in usj now. but uh, looks like it is stabling becoming stable a little bit so if you have shorts don't be short here because ultimately usd nr is in a long term uptrend it is not like it's going to reverse when we think the reversal is going to come right so I would stay away from short dollar, I will absolutely stay from longs. If you feel like you have found a good intraday uh, price uh, action like some bullish candle like Harami or a shooting star or a hammer or something, you can take an intraday trade. But at this level, I won't be uh, 
uh, shorting USD dollar for sure, right? Uh, so yeah, <coughs> so <coughs> Mr. F is asking, is there any plan to bring Finnity of Nigerian sensible? Yes, we are doing it. In fact, we are doing it in such a way that uh, we'll be able to handle Finnity. Uh, commodities, uh, multiple time zones, uh, US options, etc. etc. We are India wale Q Satta Gare, Sapko Karna Chi, ni? So, 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 uh, so, yeah, Sagar is making a nice point. Sagar is saying that weekly candles have really, really heavy wicks, big meaning that long tail. So, too much volatility to keep volatility positions on short wall. That is true. That is true. Uh, Ayush is talking about option backtesting and results backtesting. Ayush will keep you posted on that very soon. Now, if we tell all the plans, then what will you see? So, Chetan is asking comments on GBPINR. Yeah, I don't really trade GBPINR, right? See, ultimately there is no such thing called GBPINR. There is GBPUSD and USDINR. So, I am not sure if GBPINR is something which I track. Mayur is saying support 16750, resistance 17250. Yes, Mayur, lovely. I am also with you on that. Hemang is saying 18200 on Diwali Murat. Hemang, I will be very happy if that happens because a lot of people will make money. Uh, uh, Chetan is asking why only USDR? Because Chetan, there is no direct market on XINR where X is anything other than USD. Right? Every bank, when they try to give you a quote on, let's say, GBPINR or JPYINR, etc. Uh, uh, they are actually doing it in two legs. They first do USDNR and then do GBP USD or JPY USD or SEK USD or whichever it is, right? So, so yeah, that's that. Anyway, this is our analysis for today. So basically, our net net story is as long as it is not breaking 16800, there is hope for Nifty, and uh, shorting might not be a great idea because everybody seems like. See, everybody is saying short, right? In the sense that sab kuch galat dikh raha hai, di, di, inflation, deflation, ye, wo, economic slowdown. If, after everything, if Nifty is holding, there has to be something that somebody knows which we don't. So, I would uh, suspect that somebody to be holding some cards which we have never seen and try to stay with that person as long as this is above 16800 zone, right? Uh, so... So that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again on Sunday night. Thanks so much guys for joining. It's a lot of fun doing this for the last two years. Uh, so till we meet again, please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.